Jet, isn't this picture of me, Emmy, and Asmongold sick? This is a nice picture. Asmongold looks like it's losing some weight. Yeah, man, yeah. It's just, I mean, it's just the, the stress of all of us who are growners. It's just really wearing, wearing us thin. Let's take a look at my subreddit. Seems like a game S fan will play. Hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. Wait. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Damn. Look at that. That is a, that is damn. So you just shoot stuff and blow it up in a V, in, with a VR? And the home of the brave. Sick. Yeah, that game looks badass. For boom runs, so I don't spend too much take away, uh, so I don't spend too much. Take it from the RPG goat. Dragon Age Origins is a masterpiece overall. It is, it is, it is one of, it is one of, if not many people's favorite Bioware game. Yep. Like everything they used to do well, kind of is showcased in this game. Hmm. I too have heard Dragon Age Origins in the past is very good. This wasn't a game that I was initially thinking about because I just didn't really know too much about it. But this might go on the list, but this isn't something that I would immediately count on. You can always count on as man being an asshole. It feels birthday, man. <laughs> birthday. Fourth day of the <laughs> True. <laughs> it's funny. It's just fine. I do. I love. I like commenting on YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm turning into a YouTube commenter, but I just say dumb stuff a lot of times. Corn would back at it again. Here we go. We got air. You, 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 you. I think we've seen this. Have we seen this? I swear I've seen this before. <laughs> Boomer Month is gonna start this week, and we are gonna open up Boomer Month with Fable 2. Uh, offline chat, genuine reaction to We Play Partnership. Lil W, congrats though. Who mega lol. <laughs> Almost two Dude, years. I can't believe so it's been about, so long since the old house. If you don't know, like, nobody knows who We Play is, right? Like, realistically, like, if, like you're, if you're the average person who doesn't like, Work on the production side of things or whatever. You have no idea. This is totally re this is totally re like reasonable. Why so long? It's a wide angle lens. That's why. Wide angle lens. Oh, <laughs> oh, don't mind these orange parses. Oh, excuse me. I just accidentally. I was just. I was, sorry. It was an accident. I'm just. Had some orange parses up there. Rich stealing his drip from grandma. Why is Rich dressed in my grandma's curtains? <laughs> this is actually so similar. This is actually so similar. This is great. New tech for you, Pog you. What is this? For those who want realism in Wait, a rumble pack in the mouse? <laughs> There's no way, dude. He also thinks that in the game, the map has no map flying. So he made the map flying. Until he threw out the bomb in the game, I knew he was crazy. Oh, my God. Nice. Yeah, chat, we're going to Japan. When you have amazing hair, you become a Disney princess. Sick. Dude, how do hummingbirds float in space? They're, they're not like, they don't really sway. You know what I mean? Like, they're, it's swaying, but it's doing it on its own. Like, it's not like... You know what I mean? It's like... On top of all the OTK and Aswins, S-Fan is starring in a remake. The Unfrickable. I've actually never been fricked. And I do all the fricking myself. That's true. I actually talked to Blizzard. I talked to Blizzard about some stuff. Um, a little bit about like you know, classic and wrath and stuff like that. So I, I got a chance to meet with Blizzard whenever I was in LA, which was cool. I, I don't want them to screw up wrath, right? I, actually, I didn't just talk about wrath classic. I talked about vanilla and burning crusade a little bit. I said that it's, I think it's really, really important to be able to provide players with the opportunity to play burning crusade, play vanilla. Wow. And, and play it like the right way. Right. And what do I mean by the right way? I mean the proper experience. Uh, if, if you start moving away from this and as time goes on through classic, history is just going to repeat itself in a few years. People are just going to go back to private servers and, and 
it's just gonna be the whole whole dog and pony show where people are gonna want to have vanilla and they're like, man, Blizzard blew it with classic vanilla and this and that, which they did in some ways. Um, but a lot of Blizzard's problems come from, and this is, I, I think this is like a this is like a company wide issue, but particularly like on the WoW team, is they, they're so slow to act on anything. It's almost like Blizzard is too big, and if they want to do anything, it takes them so long to actually do anything that it, nothing ends up getting done. And whenever whenever they do decide to do something, they announce it and like, yo, this is happening in two weeks. So not only do they take too long to do something, they take too long to do something, and then on the flip side, everything's too rushed, it's too hurried. So now what happens is that the current player base gets dis disgruntled because they're like, dude, why are you telling me this now? There were some things they did good, and there was a lot of things they did bad. And, and one of the biggest things that Blizzard did bad is their obsession with, or not really, their obsession with basically being afraid of making changes for some reason, um, kind of resulted in allowing emergent gameplay in Classic that was not really conducive to the play style of Classic WoW, right? Uh, raid logging with your world buffs and stuff, that occurred, it wasn't, like people love getting world buffs, right? They got rid of all that in Season of Mastery because some people on the forum said they don't want world buffs. If you guys remember back then, remember what I said? I initially said, I don't even want to play Season of Mastery for one, because I, I've kind of done everything I want to do in vanilla. But my concerns with Season of Mastery was that it was going to die in a few months because people are legitimately just going to get bored raiding without world buffs and not having something to push for. I do think that we're probably going to hear about Wrath Classic very soon. Uh, they, like I said, they didn't tell me anything specific directly, but just the way they were talking, it was like, okay, we're, we're going to, I would expect to hear something about a testing period in the next couple of weeks. After Boomer Month, we need Yakuza Month. Yakuza Zero, everybody and their mom has been telling me to play this game for four years. Uh, Abdul Ali Muhammad, a legendary salesman, truly a negotiator. Yes, he is. This was funny. I, I enjoyed being on the, the uh, Name Your Price. As a Persian, that's as a uh, clothing style as Persian as you can be. Full Persian, true. The deal we make by subbing to s -Fand. I receive a $5 sub, two hour late stream, and one hour intro. Okay. Hey, actually, the, I told you guys, when I come back from the Games Expo, the schedule is going to get fixed. And the last two days, I've started stream. If anything, I've started early. I am horny and I can't play WoW because of my goddamn hand. I probably did type this. I'm not even going to deny typing that. I'm I typing probably typed chat. that. That is that is 100% something that I would say. Figuring out the combination of words that makes an AI generate S fan. Mixed results. Wait, what? Large, hairy, bearded Persian man with long black hair and black suit jacket eating food in orange room with a crown. Handsome, large, hairy, bearded Persian man with long black hair in front of green tractor eating corn. I'm putting it in my nose. <laughs> Wait, this is crazy. Drawing of most handsome, charismatic World of Warcraft Twitch streamer. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Long, hairy, large, hairy, long, flowing, black-haired Persian man dressed as a paladin from World of Warcraft. Large, hairy, long, flowing, curly, black-haired man dressed as a red and gold paladin from World of Warcraft. Wait, dude, some of these are actually kind of close. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Happy S-Man showing off 30k armrest. I did stream for an hour in LA, okay? I was very busy. I was working all week. I have I worked two jobs, and you guys are shaming me for working two jobs. I had another I have to do my other job, okay? Being an org owner. Nicest org in Twitch. Wicked. Yay for me. Nice. Reasons to wear a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Mommy, I can hear you chewing on your pillow. What's wrong? Marge, the boy was wearing a Hawaiian shirt. So? There's only two kinds of guys who wear those shirts. Gay guys and big fat party animals. <laughs> and Bart doesn't look like a big fat party animal to me. So if you wore a Hawaiian shirt, it wouldn't be gay. Right. Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> SN just to hide from the cringe. What is this? On my Reddit. Yeah, you really don't watch streamers, buddy. You're on r slash Mizkiff. Shut up. You're on r slash Mizkiff. You don't act like you're just not watching streamers over there. <laughs> yeah, that whole thing was a... Uh, that whole thing was a thing, chat. 